to clean for your mind. Oh my god, guys. Ah, my room is so nice. Okay, okay. Let me tell you what the fuck I am doing here. Oh my god. Your girl's business girl. So we work um, today um, and tomorrow. I have to do one, I told you this, onboarding training for the client and onboard them into. You don't need to know everything about this. However, we also wait on Simi. Where's the light? Please, Simi. The fuck? I have to come here? I'm in a hotel room and it looks so nice. The, the guy downstairs, like the, the, the host or whatever it's called, like the lobby -y guy. The receptionist, oh my god. So, the best person ever. He was so nice. He was chatting, he was like making jokes, like, yay! Like, he told me the room I have is actually a really nice room. Uh, this one, they're all nice, but this one is one of the best because you can see the water. Oh my, you have the whole view of the port, of like the, the half end of the water. It looks incredible. Incredible! I never been lucky with rooms when I go on business trips, but this time, damn, I lucked out! So now I have to actually bounce because um, I have to go to the restaurant with the clients. So when you enter, this is the door that you enter, you have like a little lobby. Then you have the best mirror ever. Like, I want this in my life cute then you have the bed um then you have like the bathroom like it's open bathroom and then guys look at this view like what the hell i have to bounce before people say i'm late um i might pee before i go and then i'll just bounce All right, it's time to leave this beautiful hotel room, this beautiful mirror. And yeah, I'm off to work now. I already have to take out because we don't come back here. I'm excited to go home. Uh, the presentation is almost done. So that's something I can put behind and yeah. You want an outfit check? So this is my outfit for the day, a bit more casual um, core, I would say. I have my fave pants of the moment, a little top because it's about to be 30 degrees, um, and then just like my bag and stuff. So yeah, I gotta go. I can't find my book. I can't find my book. I can't find my book. Today was a boring day. <laughs> I won't lie. Um, I just worked um and i woke up late yet again but let's not let's not <laughs> talk about this i'm looking for my book oh, i think it's also in the bag um so i'm meeting luca in the park today and we are going to um we are going to eat some pizza and maybe read and just chill and i got some summer's bee the book a jacket for the park um, and yeah, just living it up, the summer life. I feel so fancy now that I have... You don't see anything, like, it's so dark, like, well, what about... What about people like me, like... Are we not allowed to have a little bit of, you know, light? Oh, now you see me? Now you see me? I'm obsessed with... Succumb to... Plum. Succumb to plum. Obsessed, I've been wearing this already every day. The little outfit check. <laughs> Why are you doing so much? <laughs> Please let me know, is this normal? Please. 
Is it normal to, to bounce this much? I don't know. Get ready with me. I hope this is a good angle for you that you can see my shiny forehead the proper way. Today I'm going to the city, running some errands. Um, I have to take, I mean I have, I want to take H&M home um, and also check maybe Maison du Monde, Sauce de because I want like some boxes, some like organizing stuff. Actually I have to go around the room again and note down for which specific things I need boxes for. Um, so this is one thing to go to. I want to recharge on Ramyan as well because I don't have any more of the Ramyan I like. Um, and 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 then I'm back. I'm back here and then I'm doing some editing. Uh, maybe I also grab some laundry in the city. I already um, put some vitamin C um, and then some face cream. So this is usually what I do. Um, I don't do the toner systematically. Um, one because I always forget. So usually I will only only apply the vitamin C and the the, the cream. Uh, what I use the Sephora vitamin C and E uh, serum, regular serum. I mean, it's I don't need anything more. Um, I think it does the job. Bring vitamin C. I feel my skin it looks like it likes it. I actually I have not the, the pockets to try any other too much, but I used to try the glow one, the glow recipe one. Uh, it was also fine, but I just this one is a bit more on my price point. Uh, it does the job, so I don't see the need to go further. Maybe I will someday. I don't know. For my face, I use the skin drink from Lush. Uh, it's just like a face cream. Uh, does the job. Moisturizes really well. As you can see, my skin is glowing. So that's what I put for now, and then. I go with my hairline, um, I apply the multi-peptide serum for hair density from um, The Ordinary. It seems to be working well so far. I stopped using it in favor of the Miel um, Rosemary Serum. I'll be honest with you, I don't think that did anything for me. Uh, but it could be just because my hair needs something different, right? Um, however, I made like a homemade cream. That's supposed to be kind of a dupe with a bunch of oils, sesame oil, argan oil, coconut oil. I even infuse Alma. Really my combination for the edges is I will start with this one, which is a bit more heavy. And so this is the red one in um, orange. Um, anyway, I have really kinky hair, or like coarse hair, I don't know how you call it. Um, so like, I think sometimes going against their nature, um, is pointless and I should just, you know, embrace my hair and do what looks good. Like, I don't have naturally like such sleek baby hair. So what I'm just looking for is a little bit of tidiness, if I'm being honest. So I don't really try to have the complicated waves or whatever, because that's just not, that's just not what my hair can do. That's just not what my hair wants to do. Um, I try just to tidy a bit the age here to make it like a natural smooth transition. As you can see, I just, you know, compared to earlier, it's a bit more like tidy. And then I will top off with the um, As I Am um, Long Lux, what is it called? What is it called? Uh, edge controller. It's supposed to have some serum like um, qualities as well. So it's also moisturize your hairline, etc, etc. And then what I do if I'm trying to keep the shape, doesn't always work, or it depends how much time I do this for. Um, I will put like a little bandana here to flatten it so it dries in peace while I do my makeup. But again, I don't always have the patience to do this. This is just like a spray to like hydrate, not moisturize, hydrate. 
my face. It's from Pixi and it's called Glow Mist um, with propolis and argan oil. And then I'm gonna go through with my face. So you're gonna think I go through weird steps. Usually I go through the steps that are the most important for me the, to the least important. So I do like to have nice eyebrows. So I will start with my eyebrows. Let's say I'm late, right? Which I am all the time. I start with the steps that I will be really pissed if I go outside without it. Eyebrows down. I look a bit more framed, let's say. Then what I tend to do is blush. But I do think it brings a bit of life to my face. Um, and a bit of cuteness. Oh, the blush is... I didn't even show my... Okay. My eyebrow thing is the... Preci precisely my brow pencil by um, Benefit. And for the blush, I'm using the Pat McGrath. Pat McGrath. Labs in Divine Blush. Uh, rumor has it is the one they use in Bridgerton for the, the Sharma sisters. I like to use it as like on my cheekbones and outside of my face. So basically I have kind of a, more of a longer face shape. So I like to put it a bit straight and then around to add a bit of dimension here. I don't know if it's giving. I don't know if that's actually work, but yeah. I don't know if you can see anything actually on this camera. I don't know if it picks up anything because the lighting is really yellow. So anyway. That's what I do. <laughs> I don't usually contour anything. Um, if I do contour, I would do it before because then I can just blend it there. But today I don't feel like contouring. Um, so I will simply move on to kind of highlight blush. It's the Fenty Beauty in uh, Mimosa Sunrise and Sangria Sunset. I tend to only use the Sangria Sunset here for this uh, uh, moment and I will just use it really lightly and try to hit the high the high points of my cheekbones so that's done and once i'm done with uh this i'm wondering do i do eyeliner today so my eyeliner is the fenty in cousin black so that's the vibe for today. I will add a bit of highlighter. So I'm using the Diamond Bomb Triple Drip. And I'm just mixing all the three colors together. Basically, a search. I will put some in my collarbone. Just love that I'm shining. You don't see anything. I will again mix all of them together and I will put some on the highest part of my cheeks, on my nose. And that's about it for the makeup for today. I don't want to do any eye makeup, I don't want to do anything extra or crazy today. I'm just sticking with this um, and then I'm gonna apply a bit of lipstick. Before I moisturize, I'm using the lip mask from Miss Kylie. I just really like this mask. It's really like my lips are really dry, so just using a usual lip balm for me is not enough. It dries in two seconds. And this one I can do either before the day, um, I can do either before the night. Um, it's just really versatile. I really like it, and um, it works really well for my lips, and it gives like a nice little sheen as well that can be efficient throughout the day. Now I'm ready to go. Um, I'm done with everything I wanted to do. I will go in town. Um, maybe you want to see my look. <laughs> well, I'm pretty German core today. I have a Birkenstock um, shorts, very short, little top, and a baggage bag. Really, really hamburger style. Really hamburger in the summer. We're loving it. Like the weather is actually so nice. It's 30 degrees. It's already kind of mid-September, I would say. And yeah, the sun is sunny. So, I got carried away. I bought a bunch in H&M, but I would do like a little haul. And now I'm in Levis, trying out the 90s 501. I've been lurking 
to the spins for a little while. I like it because they're meaty rice. I think I'll do it. So here's a little haul of all I got um, in the city today. Um, I made a guest stuff for my house and the pants as I showed you. So the first thing I have, maybe it will make sense for me to get some scissors. I, I should have some scissors here. Um, I got finally, after a year and a half of living here, I got some um, pillows for my seats um, in my living room. So basically, uh, usually I only have clear, like I just have clear chairs. And finally, they will add a bit of color. The theme, the color theme of my living room is iced tea on the beach. So basically, you find blues for the water, beige is for the sand, and yellows as well um, for the sun, as well as oranges for the the iced tea and green for the leaves. Tea. So this is the the theme of the of the room, and I'm trying to add some accessories to uh, bring that. Uh, I mean, you can see a bit, like you have a bit of the orangey, a bit of the blue, you have the sand here, you have more yellow, and then you have, uh, do I have green? And this is just a little um, plate where I want to put like all my crochet kind of, I have no idea how to call this in English, but like all those little, um, uh, ah, spy, <laughs> I don't know, aiguille, et pince, et, um, and, and all of those things. Um, I'll put in there so it's not just running around all the time on my tables and on my stuff because it's really pissing me off. I have two small, just like a sauce, um, sauce plates. The theme in my kitchen is um, black, white, gray, and rose gold. Um, so I do have, I do like to have a little bit of accents of pink. This is not rose gold, but this is just like light pink. So I think it fits great with the whole vibe. Then um, still in line with bringing accents to my uh, room. I don't have much orange and I don't have much green, green accents. That's a lie. As I said, my <laughs> lines are green, but in the, it's only on one side of the room and I want to balance it out a bit because I have my kind of like um, one sitter, um, one seater like I don't know how you would call this couch couch square part. That's a bit of this like um, Turkish green. Um, I have my blinds, but they are all on this side of the room, and I don't have much green on that side of the room. So I just want to balance it out and also have some green accents there. I would add this in one of my couch tables. So here again, it's just like a plate. Oh, do I have friends? So this is a basket. You might wonder why do you need a basket? Because in the entrance, I have like my sports stuff. So I have my tennis shoes, I have my sports shoes, I have my two floor mat, I have my elastic, I have my jumping rope. They are just kind of put there with no not much order. And I just wanted to have somewhere where I can put everything together um, and just make it fit in there. So that's why it's here. Then the second thing, nothing too fancy. I just got a new uh, hand towel for the, the, the bathroom. I never... <laughs> Never, never, never. Um, I use the same thing. I used to dry the dishes to also pick up hot oven stuff. And I thought it might be cool to just have a pair of those so I can properly take out stuff from the oven. Then we have just like scented stuff. So um, this is the Reed Diffuser Tuberos Blush. I really like the smell. I think it's a nice, clean um fresh smell i think it's still quite flour flowery but it just i think it's a nice basis it's just, it's just a nice thing in the background it's nothing too intense um yet nothing that you don't smell at all and i think i would put this like in my entrance so it gives the smell to the entirety of the house last but not least of the smelling stuff this is like i walked by this and i was intrigued it was in the bathroom section for some reason and I was like, hmm, why is it there not with the other scented candles? And this is the Cashmere Bourbon um, by H&M. <laughs> and it's just like a um, huge ass candle. Uh, my other Zara candle actually uh, died or like is empty for a little bit now. So this is again just like a nice clean smell. Um, 
I think when I cook something or when I just want to have a nice vibe in the place, I would just bring this in any room of the that I want to make smell good again. I mean, even on its own, it smells super good already, but I am really infatuated with this smell. And uh, since they closed the Zara home next to my house, I mean, next to, yeah, next to my place, um, in my city, I should say, I really can't be asked to order on Zara. I just wanted to go there, get my candle and bounce, but I can't do that anymore. So I'm going to the competition Zara home and now I'm a client of H&M Home for candles. What are you doing? But it smells divine. Love, 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 love. So I just bought new plants. I decided that I would try to be a plant, a plant mama and to be like serious about it because all my plants died just this morning. <laughs> um, so this is a succulent. What should we name them? I love, I love to name my, my plants. I think the one below is, I have two plants so far. One is Claude and the other one, I think I named, I named her like Kenya because of Game of Thrones. I'm obsessed with Once Upon a Time. I, I started to watch it again um, recently because a YouTuber I watch, Sean, Sean Thompson, Sean, Sean Thompson, uh, does reaction to it on his Patreon right now and I'm watching um, yeah, the ones for the time. So this one, I'm going to call it Rampol. So this is Rampol. Nice to meet you. I'm now a proud mother of four plants. Four, three and a half. One is about to die, but anyway. This is just like a bit of greenery, a bit of like fluff, 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 fluff. I think this one might be trickier for me to keep alive, but that's, that's, that's what I'm here for. I'm here to learn. And this one, what should I call it? My boyfriend name is Luca, which means light, right? So I'm just gonna name it uh, because it's fresh, full of life, and um, it's up to me to uh, make sure that I don't kill them with my negativity and with my uh, selfishness. So I'm gonna call this one light as a reminder to always uh, put effort and to always uh, water um, the plant that is our love. If you're watching this, Luca, this, this is for you. <laughs> so this is light and we have rumple over there. And I have this basket. So it's because I wasn't sure if this one would fit the... Um, first, I wanted to use this one for the sport stuff, but I was thinking it's a bit small. So I got this and I think I will put like some crochet stuff in there. I will put some crochet um, uh, yarn. I'll put some yarn in there. Thank you for watching. As you guys can imagine, I'm incredibly late. Um, I was supposed to leave like three minutes ago and I haven't even started with my beauty routine. Oh my God. So my friend does um, food, like, influencing type of thing, Hadi. And so I'm helping her today. Also, it's my first matcha because I don't have any hot chocolate, so I'll, I'm I'm testing this. It's the, it's the first time. I'm a bit scared, but we'll see. Inception filming. It tastes a bit like milk and grass together.
do you get the strawberry vibe for today? Okay, what is your vibe for today? Oh, my vibe is just good looking. Huh? So I'm done for today. I'm just gonna lie down now. I came back from Lankinizer um, and I'm just gonna sit, chill, um, probably edit um, last week's vlog. I'm finally gonna start doing it. Um, and yeah, we will see each other next week if I'm there.